Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I will be talking about how to install software on Fedora Linux. To start off, I want to say that I'm not going to be covering how to install software through the GNOME software application. That's going to be reserved for the article that you can read in the description. But if you want to learn how to install it with the DNF Package Manager, I will be talking about that, and I'll also be talking about the KDE Discover application because that's on my system right now. But to install software with the DNF Package Manager, you first need to know what the name of a package is that you want to install. So to do that, you have to use the search function. So do DNF search and then the name of the program you want. In my case, I'm going to say Chromium, the Chromium browser. So I will do Chromium browser <clears throat> and then it'll run a search. And we can see here is the Chromium web browser. So I can do and copy that, sudo dnf install, and then tack y. And it will download all of the packages that I need to install everything. Installation takes a little bit of time in uh, dnf. Some That's just because uh, the dnf package manager is fast, but it's not as fast as others, so it might seem a bit slow. I, I actually like dnf, though. but. Uh, it does its job, and uh, once it gets up there, you'll be able to use the application you want. So once DNF is done running, we can launch Chromium like so. Now, I'm not a fan of Chromium. I really just dislike it in, in almost every way, but uh, that's how you get it working. If you want to uninstall it through DNF, you can just do sudo DNF, remove chromium, tag Y, and it will erase everything, and that's how that works. If you want to install a program through Discover, just go ahead and open it up, and then you can search for an app. You can also click on the Applications browser, and then just click the Install button on the side here, and it will go ahead and download and install the app you need. Now I'm picking Emacs, not because I have a preference at all. I, I really don't care about Emacs that much. It's not my favorite text editor. It's not a bad text editor, but it's just the first one in the list that I've seen. So I'm installing it. You can see the task over here. You can see what it's doing. And uh, once it's done installing, you can open it up. I can click on the icon over here, and then I can click the launch button and I can instantly get access to my Emacs system. If I want to remove it, I just click the remove button, enter my password, and it will delete itself. So guys, that's just how to install software on Fedora Linux. Like I said, I didn't cover the GNOME software system, but uh, you can go ahead and read further. Check out my link in the description. I have an entire write-up on all of the ways you can install software on Fedora Linux. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.